Tonight, a Larry Barker investigation takes you inside an unbelievable racket that is impacting every corner of the sports and entertainment business. It's a multi-billion dollar business that's ripping you off. Here's Larry's investigation, stealing the show. That by definition is insane. It is absolutely unreasonable. And that's all that they're trying to do is rip you off. How we're allowing this to go on is unbelievable. I think it should be stopped. It is one of New Mexico's most anticipated entertainment events. When the curtain rises in May at Pope Joy Hall, it will unveil Albuquerque's premiere of the Tony award-winning musical, Hamilton. It's the most exciting thing that I've seen in a long time. Tom Tkach, now retired, was Pope Joy Hall's longtime director. It's a big deal because it's in Albuquerque. People don't have to go out of state or to New York to see Hamilton. Years from now, they'll still be talking about Hamilton. It's the hottest ticket in town. However, some unscrupulous characters are out to spoil the fun, making Pope Joy Hall ground zero for an organized pack of out-of-state hustlers. They're ticket resellers. You know them better as scalpers. Ticket scalping impacts practically every corner of the entertainment business, theater productions, concerts, sporting events. To scammers, that's 100% people just scamming the system. Wes Edling is the founder of Hold My Ticket, an Albuquerque-based ticketing company and mobile box office. He calls today's ticket scalping business a scam. Before, you used to have to stand outside and yell, who wants tickets, and then hope the cops don't come around. That's, that's uh, the old ways, but now there's no there's no face-to-face. -face. It's all completely uh, electronic. It's been a complete nightmare I've occurred over the years. Using sophisticated computer software, scalpers electronically buy blocks of tickets at face value, mark them up, and resell them online. Consider Hamilton at Pope Joy Hall. Go online and you'll find dozens of websites peddling Hamilton tickets at exorbitant prices. In fact, you can fly round trip Albuquerque to Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania for the cost of a single Hamilton ticket sold by scalpers. For example, last year the website Secure Box Office hawked a ticket to Hamilton at Pope Joy for more than $2,600. Pope Joy Hall offered tickets in row E for $300. And then there's the online scalper Mark's Tickets. Last year, the website claimed its Hamilton seats were, quote, discounted cheap. In fact, Mark's Pope Joy tickets were marked up more than five times. Yikes. In 2021, a customer from Detroit purchased front row seats online from Pope Joy. Those same tickets ended up for sale on a scalper site called Barry's Tickets, where the seats were marked up more than 1,000%. If you bought those seats for $2,700, you're paying about $2,500 too much because these seats are going for $180, including fees on uh, PopeJoyPresents.com. Buy a Hamilton ticket in Pope Joy Hall's Row X from Event Ticket Center, and you'll be dinged $1,200 for the seat, plus a $245 service charge, $10 for electronic delivery, and $105 in bogus taxes. That's $1,600 from Event Ticket Center for a $184 Pope Joy ticket. In many cases, scalpers will not disclose their fees until you provide a credit card. When they set a $500 fee like that, it's outrageous. Um, but the reselling market is outrageous. It's shocking how some sellers are just so deceptive when it comes to fees. New York State Senator James Scoofus chairs the Committee on Investigations and Government Operations. Last year, the committee held hearings on ticket scalping. Let fans know what they're getting into when they're looking to buy one of these tickets and not trick them, not deceive them along the way. There are no fees in the world that amount to any reasonable level 
I, of, of service charges uh, related to a single seat that approached $300. And it's not just Pope Joy and Hamilton. It is plain gouging. Joel Alberts is executive director at Santa Fe's Lensic Theater. There's really no good reason why someone would charge that much money for a ticket. And I'm here. Last year, folk singer Judy Collins performed at the Lensic. If you bought the best seat in the house from the Lensic, it cost you $62. If you bought the same seat from TicketCenter.com, you paid $631, which includes $126 in fees. More than a dozen scalpers peddled Judy Collins' tickets, marked up as much as 10 times. You're not flying to Japan. You're not doing something that's going to cost, you know, a round-the-world adventure. Um, you're just looking to go to a concert. When you're charging $500 a ticket and then you have that extra amount of money that's going on to fees, someone needs to look at that and say, this is ridiculous. Last year, country music star Josh Turner performed at Buffalo Thunders Resort. Even though the concert was sold out, Scalpers Hawk tickets marked up four times. Even the balloon fiesta is impacted. Admission is $15. But if you want to be gouged, online ticket broker Vivid Seats will sell you admission to the balloon park for $44. Now, ticket scalping is illegal in New Mexico. Well, sort of. You see, it's against the law to resell for-profit tickets to college athletic events. You cannot scalp Lobo basketball tickets, but tickets to entertainment events, the sky is the limit. My humble opinion, there is basically zero transparency when it comes to pricing and fees related to ticketing. Make no mistake, that is a criminal activity. It's shocking, it's shocking. In 2007, State Senator Mo Maestas proposed legislation to ban entertainment ticket scalping. How'd the bill do? Not very well. It died a, a, a unceremonious death. Uh, you know, it was strong, strong opposition from these software companies that resell tickets. But I just recall two or three lobbyists flying in from New York uh, to kill the bill. It did, did not have a prayer. If there are a few people in New Mexico who, God bless them, are wealthy enough and able enough to afford a $2,000 ticket to go see Hamilton, uh, so be it. But the, the place where, where I believe government should step in is to limit how many of those types of tickets and seats exist. There are many unscrupulous people in this world, I think, and the, I think the ticket resellers are at the top of the, <laughs> the pile. For the consuming public out there who wants to see a Pope Joy performance and not be taken by a scalper, what's your advice? I would say either call our ticket office or go to popejoypresents.com, unmtickets.com to buy a ticket at a reasonable price. At the face value, you'll not be taken for a ride. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. To learn more about ticket scalping, go to alwaysonkrqe.com.